Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City in the subway where we find a fraud or sycophant filming a woman who is clearly in distress and is being arrested by the officers. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, the frauditor didn't give any explanation as to what was going on with this person, so I don't have a full story on her. But I do know that the frauditor sycophant behind the camera ends up getting arrested for disorderly conduct. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. That guy sounds like a frauder too. Oh, those three men are attacking her. Uh, dude, we don't know what was going on here because nobody who uploaded this video provided any context for what was going on here. Thank you to the original uploader, Good Guy Audits or Good Guy Activism, for not doing his job properly. But of course, what can you expect from a frauder? I mean, they don't give you all the information. And when they do, it's usually a bunch of BS to begin with. Now let's uh, talk about this guy over here. That guy could be charged with governmental interference for him uh, interfering with what these officers were doing because that one female officer had to get up and push him back because, well, who knows what's going on down there. But as soon as she let go, the other officer ended up getting kicked by this uh, lady. So just remember, context is everything. We don't know the context of what this arrest is all about. So, but yeah, this guy, yeah, definitely a fraud or sycophant as well, and definitely could be charged with obstruction. How much? How far do you? Don't don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch. Me. Don't touch me. Yo, give me your business card right now. I want your business card right now. I want your card right now. I want your card right now. Your name and your badge number. Name and badge number. Name and badge number. What's the matter, dude? Can't you think for yourself? Can't you uh, make any decision or form a coherent thought on your own? Do you have to parrot everything that the uh, auditors do and say? I mean, come on now. Uh, be an individual. Don't be a bootlicker. And that's essentially what you are at this point, a frauded or bootlicker and sycophant, unable to form coherent thoughts on his own and only able to read scripts. What a truly sad little boy you are. Geez, no need to repeat yourself. They heard you already. You want names and badge numbers, which really won't get you anywhere if you're necessarily card collecting. I want your name and badge number. I can't read. I want your name and badge number. Yep, he's definitely following the fraudulent script saying he can't read. I want his. I want your name. I need it verbally. I need it verbally. Your name and badge number. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't, yo, get the
Get off of me, bro. Get off of me. You have no right to touch me. I have not committed a crime. You have no right to touch me. Well, at this moment, you are definitely getting in the realm of the New York statute of disorderly conduct, dude. Congratulations, you lens licker. You are officially a in the frauding club. Now you just got to get yourself arrested. And that'll happen here shortly. I need her business card. I need her business card. I no, I need her business card. You have enough room. You have, don't touch me again. Don't touch me. I want her business card. I need her business card. I need her business card. Need her business card. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm not doing anything illegal. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Give me your business card, please. Business card. Business card. I need your business card. Where's your supervisor? I want to speak to your... I need your supervisor. I need your business card. I need your business card. I need your business card. Don't touch me. I need your business card. A business card. You give me a business card, I'll back up. A business card, please. I, I don't want yours, I want his. Business card. I need your card. I need her card as well. I need her name, badge number, I need your name, badge number, and your cards. Why would you need them anyway, dude? Because earlier you stated that you couldn't read because, well, I guess you're following the frauditor's script. And I'll never understand why you idiots tend to still use that thing, considering it's been debunked and destroyed so many times. I mean, it should be thrown in the garbage and you should try something new. But, of course, uh, you just don't have the creativity yourself to come up with your own script. I need your business card. Are you refusing to identify? I, don't touch me. I need your business card first. I need your business card. I need... Don't touch me. Stop touching me. I need your business card. I need, who's your supervisor? Who's your supervisor? I, I need to talk to him right now. Okay. I need two okay, business cards. They have not identified themselves. You guys have put your hands on me. He has, not, he has not identified himself. I can't read. I can't, well, I need him to identify. I need a card. And I need the other lady's card to put her hands on me. She, they, you guys put your hands on me for no reason whatsoever. That's not a lawful order. You had more than enough room to do whatever you were doing. You know, dude, uh... You should be educated on uh, lawful orders. In fact, I recorded this off of uh, one of Long Island Audit's videos, and it is the very definition of what a lawful order is. And, dude, this is a lawful order. Law enforcement, if they request you to do something that isn't illegal, immoral, or, or in putting you in harm of physical injury or death, it's best to comply. You have more than enough room. There's no reason for you to put your hands on me. I haven't committed a crime at all. No, you didn't. I'm just simply here. Exactly. So then why are you putting your hands on me? Because you have to back up. I don't. You have enough room to do your job. That's my decision. Either way, you don't need to put your hands on me, though. No, you don't. No, you don't. I haven't committed a crime. You don't need to put your hands on me. I need a business card, sir. I need that other lady's business card right there as well. I need her business card. I need it. Can I have your business card, please? I got a lady. I don't have it on me right now. I need to get it then. When am I going to get it? Miss, I need your business card. Miss, hello, I need your business card with the locks. Can somebody ask her to give me a business card, please? Can someone here be professional? No one wants to be professional, right? Apparently, you don't know what the definition of being professional is. Because if these guys weren't being professional in their job... 
they would have already put you on the ground and, well, you know the rest. But seeing as how they are being professional, they're tolerating your behavior for now. But here soon, you'll be crossing that line and you'll be in a set of shiny new bracelets. And then you all wonder why. We all love putting hands on citizens until it's time to actually fess up. This is her? I need his business card as well. He put his hands on me too. Yeah, he did. Why, did he ask you to back up? He asked me. That's, he a, asked that's, a, that's, a, that's a request. It's not a demand. No, but you're in a business area. You know that, right? This is an MTA. It's you're open to the public. No, you're not talking. It's open to the public. No, 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 it's it's open to the public, bro. Business. This is public. It's not. Can I ask you a question? Who funds the MTA? Who funds the MTA? That means it's public. It's public. He asked. Asked. Asking is a request. It's not a, it's not a lawful order. It's a request. It, it's he did. did you? He did. Wow. He did, and she did. He asked. Uh, again. Wow. Okay. Okay. You asked several times. Sir, turn around. And I did back up. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Well, I guess we'll be seeing this guy soon in the New York frauding crew because he's just as stupid as any one of them. Eli, uh, Vampire Dave, all of them. I mean. Welcome to the show, dude. Again, congratulations on this particular arrest. I don't know if it's your first one or not, but congratulations, dude. You're a total moron. Enjoy it while it lasts. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?